A lot of people will tell you we cannot combine logarithms if the bases are different. But the truth is, we can actually do it. Let me show you how. For the first one, we see we have log base 2 of x. Well, we can use the change of base boom law, and let's use natural log. So, we are going to get ln of x over ln of 2. And again, that's by the change of base formula, and let's do the same thing for the other one. So we are going to add ln y over ln 3. Aha! And now, let's see, we have ln 2 on the bottom, but that's really the same as saying 1 over, right, 1 over ln 2 times ln x. And then let's do the same thing for the second one. We are going to add 1 over ln 3 times ln y. And now, do we see it? Yeah, right? Because 1 over ln2 is just a number, so we can actually put this to here and make that into an exponent. And, of course, we can do the same thing right here. Aha! So, for the first one, we are really just going to get ln of x to the 1 over ln2 power, and then we are adding this with ln of y raised to the 1 over ln3 power. Congratulations! Now we have ln and ln and we are adding, so we can just put the insides together and multiply them. So this right here is equal to ln of the first one, which is x to the 1 over ln2 power, and we multiply this by y raised to the 1 over ln3 power. So yeah, we just combine these two logarithms, even though they have different bases. What do you guys think?